just love on your kids, hug them every day, because it might be the last I see you. New tonight, we are hearing from the family of high school football star Javon Coles as the North Shore community grieves the student athlete full of potential. Thank you for joining us at 10. I'm Keith Garvin and I'm Candace Burns. Daniela is off tonight. The 18 year old was gunned down outside of a house party over the weekend and tonight the shooter is still at large. KPRC 2's Bryce Newberry spoke with Jarvan's mother and grandfather. Bryce is live at North Shore High School right now with how the family wants Jarvan to be remembered. Bryce. Candace and Keith, Jarvon Cole's family was so very proud of him, both as a student, but also playing football on this field. He had plans to play in college. He also wanted to continue playing in the NFL. But tonight, instead of planning his graduation party, his family is planning a funeral, hoping whoever senselessly killed him is brought to justice. The possibilities seemed endless for 18 year old Jarvon Coles, a student with a 4.1 GPA, his family says, and linebacker on the North Shore football team that went to the state championship last season. You always think yours are special, but he was really special. His grandfather, Braxton Coles, and mother Brittany beam with pride, remembering the young man they also call VZ. I still, you have to have great grades. It's, we're not doing no C's, no mediocre, no B's. Give us A's. He has so many plans. They had just visited Lamar University where Jarvon hoped to continue his football career. But now this black band is wrapped around a senior sign in his family's front yard. After a Saturday night shooting outside a party at a short term rental home in Humble, cut his promising life short. Everybody's so frantic. Nobody know what to say. Friends called his mother. She heard the chaos as party goers tried to do CPR and call an ambulance, not realizing until she arrived at the hospital that he'd been shot in the chest, back and finger. The persons involved may have been on a you know street, maybe a block or two away when they fired the shots toward the party. Investigators returned to the remote neighborhood Monday afternoon, talking to people who live there and trying to get Get surveillance videos as recent gun violence involving young people catches the attention of city leaders. It is alarming when I hear the reports from the weekend. Way too many young people, the tragedy of football players, high school players that'll never go through graduation. And I was so ready, you know, so ready to celebrate him. He was so ready. And it, it's gone and it just feel like for what? Now dealing with tragedy least expected, Jarvan's family hopes whoever fired will come forward. No matter how hard you try to protect your kid, you still evil people out there. You took my pride and joy, like you took my world from me. And a coach told us today that Jarvon Coles is the last person he'd expect something like this to happen to someone who always did the right thing on and off the field. Tonight, the sheriff's office is asking for any tips in this case to be called into the homicide unit or Crime Stoppers. We're live in Northeast Harris County. I'm Bryce Newberry, KPRC 2 News. Our hearts are with that mother, that family, and that North Shore community as well. Bryce, thank you.